We are driving into GAN project, a powerful open source project management tool designed to help you plan, track, and visualize your project using GAN charts, right? And here, I will just go through everything. So whether you are new to project management or looking for a simple alternative to pay tool, this video will show you how to get started with the GAN project. And yes, we'll just start from completely from the basic. So you have to just go to Google, search for GAN project, right? Click on this first link here and you will basically land. Okay, let's click on this. Now you will end on this one. So it will ask you to download because you know it's a management tool, so you have to download. Now, if I just go and click on download on this option, right, it will give me this option of a GAN project three, and this is for the license, right? Now you can just read it and here and buy GAN project from one of our online shop and let us build more new features faster. So if you want to support them, you can buy from this option. Otherwise, you can simply, because GAN Frederick is completely uh, free software, so you can just go and click on free download. Once you go and click on free download here, you will find, you know, two, three options, basically. This is basically for the Windows. You have to choose your option. Now, this is Windows. This is for the Mac, right? You can choose accordingly, right? And if you want to download the zip, so you can just download the zip here, right? So I can just download this one of this one. And this is one more option, which is called Try GAN Project Cloud. So I have already downloaded this, right? You can just download any one of them. Now this is how the GAM project look like. It will ask you to log in by using your Gmail or just normal Gmail or Google Gmail. And this is how these look. So cloud feature is really useful because you don't need to install in your system. So if, you're, if for some accessing cases, if you don't want to install this GAN project, which uh, let me show you how you can do that, right? So you can just use a GAN project cloud and you can keep continuing watching this video because everything is going to be saved. Now, once down there, just open your setup, click on next, click on I agree, air introduces this option here. Now choose on which drive you want to install, seven to install it here. Now click on save and just go and click on next. Now, simply you have to just go and click on finish, automatically your canned project will be launched. So this is how it's look. Now this is your exact dashboard which will look like completely like this, right? Here we have a lot of options, so we'll go one by one and I will explain you each and everything. Now here you can see this option in cloud disconnected. So if I just turn this on, automatically it will ask me to sign in into my account. No one says sign in, right? So if I work on cloud for some cases, I don't have my main system and I cannot use this downloaded GAN project. So I can just simply use, you know, GAN for the cloud and I have to just log in uh, by using my Irene, I can access it from anywhere. So this is really cool feature. Now, if and just to any kind of changes, automatically it will show up here once I open up this, right? So pretty simple. Now in the cloud, let's start with the cloud here. Cherry, it will ask you to create new uh, team here. So let's say this is a Filex team one. In the description, let's say of this right here, chain one, right? Let's do it. Great. And whatever, this is just for the heat tutorial. I will just go and click on create team. Uh, this is our team has been created. Now inside team, I can create projects. So automatically you will see that this feature caught completely unlocked. So I can just go and click on project. Now project is basically, let's say of this right here, project B1. You can choose any of this option here. So this is a template. You can choose a template template, or if you have an inbuilt template, then you can simply go and click on browse and you can add your own template and simply click all create. Now, if I just go and click on nice, automatically, you will find this same option here, which is basically, do you want to use this ID? And I want to save this project in this ID and I'll just go and click on create. Now our project has been created. Now, as it says that it's a team, it's a projecting management tool here, right? So obviously I need to air my people. So I can just go and click on people and I can invite my team members. I just need to enter the name and to the email and click on send invitation. Now they will receive the invitation over the email and they have to just accept it. Once they accept, automatically they will be able to join my project and simultaneously they can just work on real time with me, right? And you can assign different people to different uh, projects. Say if I just, if I want to lock it, delete it, try down to check the version history, everything is available if you click on this free talk. Right now, if you want to create a new team, so you can create a new team and you can keep managing your team here. Same way, this is member. You can add member to your team. 
but you can add people to your uh, project. So what's the difference? So if you add people here, they will only be able to access a specific project. Let's say I have added a project in this one. So let's have added two people. Now only those people will only be able to access fully this project, no matter how many team I have, right? And no matter how many projects too I have in a different view. So they will not able to access all this information. So yeah, they respect the privacy and this is really a cool feature, right? And it will show how many people they have invited and everything. Now let's go and open one of these projects here, right? And by the way, on the left side, you will find this option of billing. So you can check this out, basically free credit for testing and cloud here, right? So we have a, you know, we have created five. So actually we have five, five credits. It's like we can use it. Now this is a settings. You can change your name, everything here. You can start exporting or updating your email in boss and everything. So this is, this information is uh, real pretty cool here. Now let's go back to our main thing here. Now you can see here, this is project. Now, if I'm going to create a product, I can simply go and click on create new here. Now let's say I will just enter it. Uh, okay. I will title this project and let's say we'll just write here filings. Why again, project host this right here. One organizations organization, you can consider like a team. So we'll just write here thing one right you can add your web link but fine i don't want to do this now click on next now you can choose a role set so we can create a role set i will show you later now i will just go and clear and okay so we have created in this way now let's i want to open it up so right now you can see here do you want to save this project because i the project we just created is already we are blocking on it now we can edit this up. For example, do you want to save this project? If I just go and become yes, and automatically it will ask you, where do you want to save it? And if some of the user, if you are familiar with Windows Experience, this is pretty, pretty much look like that, right? This center of the GUI is very similar to that. So yeah, it's not, you know, that latest version of the modern and they don't use the modern UI and we know the reason because it's from pretty free here. Right. So simply just go and click on save and you can save it wherever you want. So I just want to save it, let's say in my document section and click on select a folder. Now I don't want to select a folder. I will just go and click on save. I can always access it from there. Now we have some more options here. For example, you can see this is resources chart. This is again chart here, right? And we can always adjust this, all this very basic, and basic, uh, you know, features here. Now you can check if you want to import some of this folder. So let's share. If I just go and import, I can import iCalendar file. Again, project file and make sure this is a dot a gan dot xml. Right txt is prep shade and right. So in this way, we can just import this up. Let's say I want to download this up. So I will just go and check xml file here. Now click on next. Now this browse this. Let's go to my download folder. Okay, so let's go to share. I selected the file, click on OK, and we will import entire file here. Now you can see here it's big. Right, and here it gets data which is small. This is basically only this much, right? And still, it's not able to import this. I'm just facing this issue. But let me know that if you're facing the same issue on not here. So I don't know. I'll close this up. I tried importing again and again, but it's showing that the same issue. Let's say I want to import these patched here. By then it says yes, we file. You can see here. And if I just go and click on anyway for this, let's say email, or let's say by name here, not click on OK. And there's no information is available, right? So it's showing that the same issue. Uh, Again and again, by the way, let, let's move to the next feature here. So as we know, can product is free open source project management tool that allow you to create can chat, assign resources and task, uh, the track project progress here, right? With it intuitive interface and robust features. Now can project makes it easy to plan and manage even the most complex project, right? So here we can create task and that is really one of these, uh, one of this best feature which I really like about this. So if I just simply just go and click on task and click on new task here, now I can just try it here, create one video about send bones, right? Press the enter. And this is one of the tasks which I have placed, right? And you can just keep on going and you can keep creating your task here. 
So you can add tasks by clicking new task, right? And you can set dependencies by dragging, right? So for example, let's say I'll do zoom in. Now let's say this is a task here. Now I want to click and hold and you can just, you can say here, this is the exact task which we just created. And here you can change the date. So if I want to change the date, I have to simply just come up here and click on it. Now let's say I want to change it on, it's written on 27. And uh, uh, let's say I will just enter today date. That is a 10th. April, so that is basically 05. Today's 10th May, and click on OK. So it will show me exactly on the 10th May, right? And in this way, you can just add it, you can put an end date, and let's say you want to add more information, just simply click on add, right? You can put a color, you can you can add a shape, right? Let's say I want to add this shape here, right? Now, this is a predecessor, so it will show you all the older version of it, the resources, and the custom column. So you can just simply come up here and you can just add it. Now let's go and click on OK and you can see here the shape got completely changed. Now let's say I want to connect it with a different task. So I can also do it. So let's go to the task here, click on new task, right? And let me just put a new date here. That is a 12th May. I'll just put it on 11th and click on OK. So somewhere it will show me exactly on the 11th, right? And this is really easy thing to do and I can connect the task like this and I can even extend the task. Let's say this task is basically for the, uh, let's say it will just go to the June. Now here you can see the time and the date automatically changes here, right? So if you are confused because this is a May month, this is a June month, so you have to just click on zoom in. And once you click on zoom in, it will show you the week wise. So you can check out the week wise and every information available here, the past information, the past project and everything. So use milestone to mark key deadlines or deliverables in your project timeline. You can assign resources. So assign resources and ensure that tasks are allocated to the right people or the right team here. So you can simply click on and here you have to just go and click on resources and here you have to select the person or the team whom you want to assign this entire project. Right? And adjust resources allocation to avoid overloading team members. Now, customize your Gantt chart helps you visualize your project timeline and share it with your stakeholders, right? By the way, if you don't know how to add resources, simply click on this icon and you have to just write your name, phone number and everything here and click on OK. And you can also add what kind of assignment you want to add it to them. So you can see here, this is a task. So I will just go and click on OK. Let's say I want to access the new task and I can add a new task here, right? And I can assign to a specific person directly from here, right? So that is really easy thing to do. And let's say I'm just going to click on add. I can select, let's say I want to give this task to XYZ person and click on OK. So automatically it will be defined and it will show on which day they are working on everything information here. Yeah, it might. As I told you, you can add labels, notes or constraints to task for a better clarity. You can export your project. So simply just go to the project section here and just go and click on export. And you will able to export in a different way. That is pretty easy to do. You have to just select your project file here and you will able to export it. So this is it guys. I hope you found this video very useful. This is just normal step-by-step -step tutorial. And if you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe.